how does freedom work? How do you have a country that has law and order when there isn't that out of control everywhere? The Lord gave me a statement by William Penn. And that statement you might have heard in elementary school and you thought it's nice and then you forgot about it. William Penn says, my fellow Americans, you have a choice. Hey, I have said that sentence so often this week. Let me repeat it again. If you forget everything else I told you, don't forget that one sentence. Only free people have a choice. Only freedom gives you a choice because you have to have two or more sides. And you cannot choose unless somebody gives you more than one side. So, William Penn says, you have a choice. What is our choice? Wow, a choice. What is the choice? You may be governed by God or ruled by tyrants. Oh, I knew what it meant to be ruled by tyrants, honey. Nobody needed to tell me that. But governed by God, what does that mean? You know what I found out? That's that self-control, that inner control that you sing in your patriotic songs about. That is that Judeo-Christian ethic that you ha have in your heart and you know what's right and wrong, but because you have a choice, you may choose yourself what to do. Nobody makes you. And I have told your kids in school this week that when you're free, it's a little bit harder than if somebody makes all the choices for you. Because when you have a choice, you also need to take the responsibility for that choice. And on top of that, my beloved friends, freedom begins when the teacher or the officer or the parent turns their back. And the outer control is not there, and they have a choice. And you know what? Freedom gives a choice, and you had freedom for so long that we have to teach our present generation that they have the freedom to say no. They have forgotten about it. Think about that. How, how long you had freedom, how much you have forgotten, how much freedom is a choice that we need to teach our kids, and we need to teach them the right choices. See, that's my burden about the communist country. I told you this, this morning. Unless we go in there and tell them that they must learn to make right choices, they're going to lose their freedom again. But folks, most of the world will never have freedom. They will be told what to do, when to do, and how to do it. And I slowly grew into the mainstream of the American life and into your freedom. And first you are scared of it, and then you learn to live with it, and then you fall in love with it. And I fell in love with America and freedom, folks. And suddenly it dawned on me that there was a life that I could have that most people on this earth will never have. That I was allowed to start to think for myself. You know, I was past 30 when I learned to think for myself. You know, I was past 30 when I started to make my own decisions. Would you like to know one of the very first free choices that I made? I walked into a courtroom and there was an American flag and I looked at that judge and I said, Sir, may I have the privilege of becoming an American citizen? And after they checked me out because I had such a bad political record, took a while. Then they said, Yes. And you know what? I stood under that flag and I said, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, one nation under God, and I understood why we were free. Because we are a nation under God. And I cried. Ladies and gentlemen, most of you are Americans by birth. I would like to tell you very proudly that I'm an American by my free choice. And boy, am I proud of it. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, the Americans are precious people. They are neighborly and kind and helpful, but sometimes they get thoughtless because they had something for too long. They take freedom for granted. Consequently, they have to take you for granted who takes, who defends their freedom. But folks, that does not take the value of freedom down. It is the greatest gift that the God of heaven has given to planet Earth and the human race. Because you need that freedom of choice even to receive salvation. You have to have a choice. And the first thing that the communists take away from you is your permission or your freedom to choose Jesus Christ. Hell hates freedom as much as hell hates salvation. 
And God said, if we just can trust him, and folks, it's time to trust in God, come back to him and pray, and understand that we are a nation under God. Sometimes we think we can be free without that. Folks, when we lose the inner control, we have to get out of control. You have to have something to run a country. And if we ever forget to teach our kids that inner control and freedom goes together, we are teaching them anarchy. We cannot let our young people think that freedom is free man and I can do anything I please. No, that's not so. Freedom, my beloved friends, has been paid for by many lives in the last 200 years. And freedom is something that God values so highly that he blesses those who stand for it. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may the Lord bless my beloved homeland, the United States of America, and oh God, bless our military. Thank you very much.